Hi there, it's me, Egil, Egil Torson. Sit yourself down, relax, have a nice drink, something nice to eat. And what am I going to be talking about? I'm glad you asked me that. I am talking about the axe versus the mace. It falls into two. Obviously the axe has got the edge on it, no pun intended. But in, this is an Anglo-Norman um, mace. And it was specifically for the clergy. They were not allowed to draw blood, allegedly. It's alright to bash someone's brains in. But uh, it's just a heavy, heavy old Hector. In fact, if you look on the bio tapestry, you'll see Bishop Odo, uh, a relation to King William, uh, with his mace. The axe. This was far more common uh, weapon along with the um, forms of spear but this is the sort of thing you'd have on the farm and you've got to defend yourself somehow and this is ideal this is a it's almost a skeg ox or bearded axe here's the man's body there's his head nose and there's his beard and it's a hooking weapon this is more i would say a domestic axe used for chopping uh, wood and various things around the farm but a, a useful weapon nonetheless as you met those of you who've been following our historical things there are various types of axe which I won't go into uh, because we've already covered it but maces is that the correct, the correct plural well I'm guessing it is again it's the most simple of weapons. It's a bludgeon. You bludgeon people with it. And no doubt um, some of the poorer people who fought used things like tree roots and heavy um, bits of wood. This was an aristocrat's job. The head is made of, uh, well, in this case, steel, but it would have been iron, heavy stuff, and projections on it. So it gives you a hefty whack. But. Uh, to summarise, we have the mace, mostly used by churchmen, and the axe, used by sort of everyone else. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. To summarise, uh, we've already summarised. Uh, if you've enjoyed this and would like to subscribe, press the uh, subscription bell or hashtag history talk but leave us a comment please because we want to know how you feel and maybe you've got some good ideas and that's how we learn as well we're not the sage of all knowledge although we may think we are and uh, as i say leave us a comment it will take time there's only three of us and as i say two of those are literate in computers and i'm not one of them leaves you to guess we will get back to you, it does take time, so until we meet again, and uh, leave us a like as well if you like it, if you don't, don't leave us a, a dislike, but the choice is yours, but we would like to see your likes. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough, uh, until we meet again, bye!